the solution for this. So what we'll do first is move the 4 over, divide through by the 3, and take the square root. So we end up with 2 over the square root 3. Uh, with this, this is the same thing as secant x, all that squared. So take the square root of both sides. Oh, what what am I doing? I already did take the square root. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So um, anyway, the thing I was going to say is secant is the same thing as 1 over cosine x. So it's the same thing as uh, if we reciprocate the entire thing we end up with um, cosine x is equal to root 3 over 2 or you could have just looked at it where um, cosine is equal to root 3 over 2 so in this instance um, looks like pi over 6 and we're looking for the positive value so um, excuse me yeah that's right and then uh, it looks like 11 pi over 6 so pi over 6 all right and then so again, since the cosine, oh, and because it's squared, um, you can have negative the negative value. So five pi over six, seven pi over six, and eleven pi over six. So um, well, technically, you can simplify it down to. If, if you break it instead of 2 pi n, so x is going to be equal to pi over 6 plus pi n because an n is an integer, so if you have 0 for n, you just have pi over 6. If you have 1, you have 7 pi over 6, and it just flips every 180 degrees. And then we're going to have um, 5 pi over 6 plus pi n. Otherwise, you'd have pi over 6 plus 2 pi n, and then like 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n, and then... 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n and 11 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n. So this is good enough right here. So um, that should work. All right. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching. Have a fantastic day.